guys, welcome back, it's Melody, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up a minimalist kitchen. I've done a minimalist kitchen tour already, but a lot has changed since then because that was one of the very first videos I've ever filmed on YouTube. I wanna get two things out of the way. The very first thing is that my house has flooded. And this is not a new thing in my lifetime. For some reason, every single apartment I've ever had has flooded. I've been through all of this before. The moving around of carpet, the moldy smell, the fans blowing all day, and all I gotta say is that I'll be shocked if I live past 70. I'm sure it's bad for me. I'm sure I'm slowly dying and it's killing me. But that aside, Pat has not been in a lot of our videos and that's because I'm currently competing with the sunshine. Um, now that it's warm outside, Pat is always glued to the windowsill and unfortunately, who can beat the sunshine? So if you're new here, definitely click down below and give us a subscribe so that we can see you next Sunday. The biggest reason to minimize the kitchen is because the kitchen and paperwork and our closets are generally speaking the places that get overrun naturally with a bunch of clutter. Having a minimal kitchen just makes sense because everything is so easy to put back when you come from the grocery store and also when you unload the dishwasher there's only so much that can get dirty so everything can fit in the dishwasher at the end of the night and it makes cooking so much easier because you're not having to nest things so things are easy to grab out not all of us want to be a minimalist so we have to examine our priorities our family size but minimalism or at least using minimalist tips can benefit everybody so without further ado we're gonna go right into the kitchen today was supposed to be the deep clean day but today we're gonna do a kitchen tour and I just move my I just moved my mitts because I rarely bake so there's no point in it being on the side but I have to patch up this hole but basically I like to have everything elevated the only exception is the knife block which I could live without I could keep that knife on top of the towels in the drawer so that it wouldn't be bumping against other kitchenware but I like to have everything easy to access like that. I also like the way it looks, but it does require a little bit more to move it out of the way to clean. And if you're gonna hang your mitts, you wanna hang it so they're blocking something. So there's an outlet here. Since I rarely use the outlets in my kitchen, then it makes sense because I never cook on this side of the counter. When I set up this kitchen, I wanted to set it up so it would be as functional as possible and so that I would have to go in as few drawers as possible while I'm cooking because then putting everything back is very easy. So first of all, I decluttered everything that I don't use. So there's nothing in this drawer. Extra trash bags and my Vitamix. And you guys have seen underneath my kitchen sink many times but basically hydrogen peroxide this I use for cleaning the dishes before they go in the dishwasher sometimes basically dishwasher pods baking soda magic erasers and that I really like to use to clean the sink I love using clear hooks wherever I can so you'll see the clear hooks right there underneath the kitchen sink I have an area to put my towels when they get dirty so I just pile the towels in there and then I throw them in with the rest of my laundry and I really, really like having a soap dispenser right by the sink. It makes cleaning the counter so easy because nothing is on the counter. And I think it adds a pop of color as well. There's no labels. And I just got this water filter and I really like it a lot better than the water filter in the fridge. All I have to say is if you're gonna get a plant, you probably shouldn't get a big one because it's gonna take over your whole kitchen as this one did. But I like having curtains because I love being able to look out at the view while I'm making food. And I have my cups up here. And as for decor, I keep it very minimal because things get so dirty in the kitchen. So the reason why I have extra plates and cups is because when I entertain, I have enough for everybody. And also, I rarely ever wash anything by hand. So it just makes sense to have enough. And I eat a lot of rice. Up here is just my vase for flowers and my measuring cup, my two cup measuring cup. If you don't bake a lot, you don't need a lot where measuring cups are concerned. And then plates, cutting boards, and bowls. All on this side I have all of my baking ingredients and my toaster. I like to keep things that I rarely use all together because then I rarely have to open this cabinet. In the first drawer is paperless paper towels because I've been trying to transition away from 
disposable not only for the environment but also it means less grocery trips so there's a lot of incentive there these towels I've had for years but basically when I buy dish towels I just get as many as will fit in here while still closing and I like to have a pop of color because I don't like a lot of decor in the kitchen because everything gets dirty so it makes sense to have the towels a nice color that you want to look at it's very convenient to have all of your cutlery all in one place so when you're cooking you're not going around in multiple drawers trying to find where everything is I have four four of everything so there's no point in having an organizer but if I had to have an organizer I would put it on this side in that empty drawer but I just keep a towel underneath so they don't rattle as much and I have all of my straws all of my cutlery and everything else is on this side. I don't keep things just because they came in a set so I have three here because it's just going to take up space and things don't need to be perfect or exact unless you're doing a lot of baking and in here I have my spatula, my serving spoon. I don't have a deep serving spoon because I rarely make soups at home now. It takes a lot more to have to warm up soups and a lot of what is in soups doesn't make me feel that good. And then this is a luxury item. I eat a lot of rice, so I have a rice spatula and some tongs and a can opener. And then on this side is all of my spices, all of my can backup, and then some random things. Another luxury item is a spoon rest. And dishwasher safe like everything else. I use the scale a lot, a funnel, and these serving bowls come in handy, not just for serving guests, but also all around the house I find uses for them, so I use them a lot. But I've recently downsized my spices and it's so much better just having what you need. Down here is my two saucepan lids and my crock pot or instant pot and two pots. Two pots aren't necessary unless you cook a lot of pasta. I don't cook a lot of pasta but I still keep two on hand. You will need two if you're making spaghetti in one and then pasta in the other for instance. I need to move these two lids to the other side. I had a lid on this side, the all clad lid, but all clad is very heavy. So it wasn't working out, but for the saucepan lids, it was perfect. We've got my two saucepans, placemats, everything else, a cutting board, my all-clad lid, my all-clad pan, and a cookie sheet with a grate over it. So the grate is really good if you're making bacon or if you're cooling baked goods. And then in the back are the things I rarely use, which is mixing bowls. Mainly I use mixing bowls to store things in because I don't bake a lot. And then I rarely make pasta. Everything down here is really high use. In the freezer is basically just smoothie ingredients. Meat is in there, but right now it's just a meat substitute, a beef substitute, frozen bread, frozen waffles, and some mixed vegetables. I rarely go into the freezer, but it is very helpful for making things last a long time. It's very helpful for smoothies. Over here I have my condiments, which I've gotten down to about four. I usually always have celery and carrots, lettuce. I always have apples on hand because apples are my favorite fruit. They're just the perfect fruit. So much variety and so affordable and last forever. There's nothing in the drawers and wine. I don't know what that line was for. I'm sure it was for tacos or something. I really like having everything floating and everything nearby so when I'm cooking it's so easy because everything I cook with all the utensils are right there. The oil, salt, and pepper is all right above the stove too and then when I want to clean the cleaning supplies are so easy to find too. They're all right here and so I guess that is my biggest tip is just to get everything in as few areas as possible. As few areas as possible for the high use things. Then when you're cooking you really only have to open two or three areas instead of opening a bunch and then every time you're unloading the dishwasher you're going to have to open every single area. In the pantry I have more baking ingredients at the top because I rarely touch them. Some chips, crackers, a potato, and some plastic bags. I rarely use plastic bags now so I usually keep this area just for fast food napkins so they don't waste the napkins. And then in here is honey, garlic, onion. I never eat canned meat but I've been using that to prop up my onion station for years now so I'm just going to keep it. And then I keep packets of things because they're so easy to store and they're hard to get at Whole Foods. So taco packets and also stew packets I always keep on hand. Down at the bottom I just keep all of the heavy stuff. Things like almond milk, tomato juice, 
and I have a big bottle of alcohol. Okay, let me just say that's Everclear alcohol because I use it to make my deodorant. And every time I go to the store, they would give me like I am an alcoholic. It's pretty hilarious because I'm like, give me 10 bottles of Everclear, guys. Hit me. We're in the South, so it's not like people don't drink alcohol. I don't think many girls buy Everclear at the store, is all I'm saying. And then I have a vinegar down there. You guys have seen in my life hacks video, I rarely use saran wrap and especially not foil but every once in a while saran wrap does come in handy and then up here is my recipe center and basically I lay out the recipes that I'm gonna cook I grab them all out and then I put them on the fridge with little magnets so they're all laid out on the side of the fridge ready to cook for the week and over here I have all of my cheat sheets so if I want to make a side or a dessert or a soup this cheat sheet is right there, so I don't even need to get a specific recipe card for that. And then my grocery shopping list, my clips for my bags of chips, and my mesh colander. If you are going to downsize things in a set, always keep the biggest one because the biggest one is the most multi-purpose. But I like having this as my center. So that's basically everything in the pantry. I keep it very sparse because I live nearby the grocery store. So I just wanted to give you one last overview. Basically, the first drawer is the towels, second drawer is the cutlery, over here is all of the backup, all of the spices, and just random little items that I don't want to keep anywhere else. And so basically, it's the junk drawer. Down at the bottom is all of the bakeware, and I don't have to stack it because I don't own a lot of bakeware, so that's really nice. Over here is just all of the pans and all of the cutting boards mixing bowls, everything like that. So you know where everything is because it's all in the same area. If it's not a pot, it's going to be over here. And then the cleaning supplies, which again, I rarely ever have to get in here because almost everything can be cleaned with vinegar and water. My bowls and my plates and my mini cutting boards for when I'm going to make Vitamix. And up here is just baked goods that I rarely ever get into. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a subscribe or to give us a like. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next Minimalist and Organization video next Sunday.